air pollution is one of the biggest challenges faced in modern society. The Air Quality Management Control Department, which falls under the city of Cape Town, is testing large trucks to ensure that they are not emitting black smoke, which is harmful to one's health. Our city will find out more about this phenomenon. If you enter the city from any elevation over one of the mountains and you look across the, the, the Cape Flats on a windstill day, especially if you do it early in the morning, you'll see a brown haze sometimes hanging there. So we're lucky. We have the Cape Doctor. We have a, a fairly continuous wind that helps clear the pollution from across the city. Many cities are not as lucky. And on a windstill day, we have that haze. And you have a lot of young people who are suffering respiratory disease, who will be sick a lot, who will suffer uh, health problems throughout their life because of pollution levels. Internationally, it ac accounts for a very large amount of days off and premature death uh, from asthma and other related um, illnesses. Um, and as an asthma sufferer myself, this is something close to my, close to my chest, uh, pun intended, uh, close to my heart. Uh, the uh, city's pollution control has 13 monitoring stations, fixed monitoring stations around the city that monitors continuously that air quality and checks to see where pollutants are coming from um, and helps us intervene in, the, in, in trying to minimize those specific pollutants by engaging those companies and dealing with the pollution levels they cause. Um, the uh, point of something like this is to take it directly to some of your highest um, pollution drivers and that's diesel engines especially large diesel engines like in trucks and often those trucks are not serviced adequately for protracted periods of time so the the mobile emissions testing behind me um Jongi and shane are with the assistance of the traffic officers stopping these uh, large diesel trucks attaching a, a, um, a testing device to the exhaust uh, revving the vehicle up doing uh, six tests and seeing if uh, in terms of the HSU the units um, that they measure this pollution in or if the vehicle complies and if it does they give them a compliance notice uh, and that means that the vehicle doesn't have to be tested if that vehicle is stopped again soon he can say no I've still got a valid certificate for three months uh, and their job is to test as many vehicles every day as they can to make sure that we try and deal with trucks that are heavy polluters. The testing standards are absolutely compares well with international standards. Um, I looked at, at some of the engagements that I've had now through environmental health with factories. The level and of technology and equipment they're installing at their fil filtration plants is top notch. It's absolutely as good as it gets. It's as good as um, as, as can be expected. Uh, if we look at um, one particular complaint area that we had around one factory, I've been engaging with these officials, um, with the factory management, and the quality of the equipment they've put in is absolutely internationally is, is top standard. That is obviously not, is not true for all of our polluters. Um, and so in many cases, council has to wrestle with these people. We've even written to the national minister to ask the minister to uh, provide emission standards for missing categories of standards. There are some emission standards that are that the minister has not yet defined. And we've, the mayor has now written to the minister saying, you are missing some emission standards and you need to include these. Our own bylaws and our own standards are partially are influenced and uh, by academic institutions. Uh, last month, the Environmental Health Service uh, had um, a full day symposium on ambient air quality. Um, and during that, they had uh, participants from around South Africa that they invited uh, and expert speakers who came and addressed us on these issues. And we talked about the rewriting of our environmental health bylaw and adding some extra teeth to it and that whole conversation about uh, about that and so there we draw heavily on international standards and expertise from uh, from C Cape, uh, Cape Peninsula Te University of Technology and um, UCT and other academic institutions. The vehicle testers in law don't have the power to stop the vehicle so the traffic officer has the authority in terms of the road traffic act to stop the vehicle and as you can see they're conducting an inspection of the vehicle one of the vehicles before we've now given a fine for for tires there were big sections of the tires um, of the tra tread of the tire missing and sooner or later that tire is going to come loose in traffic so they've uh, written a notice and that person will have to present that vehicle for reinspection um, the officers are checking for driver's licenses and other incidental things while they're at it uh, and fitness of driver which may include alcohol and such things because you're engaging the driver face to face um, and sadly with the random breathalyzer testing we're doing we're finding drivers as early as eight nine in the morning 
public transport drivers, bus drivers and taxi drivers who are, are drunk as early as that in the morning.